Hello and welcome to the latest Lucosa retro game review video. Except it's not a retro game review video at all. Let's try that again. Hello and welcome to the latest Lucosa PC game review video. In fact this game is so old it could even be a retro uh, review. Uh, this is Freelancer which was uh, Released by Microsoft back in 2002, I think it was. I know it's certainly well over 10 years old. And um, for the purpose of this video, I think uh, how it would work quite well is if I um, was to compare this game to a modern day title that's somewhat similar to it. Uh, let's see, it's a space uh, exploration, trading and combat game. What could I choose? Oh uh, yes. Well, how about Elite Dangerous, eh? That sounds like a pretty good uh, one to compare it to. A game that is, uh, well, more than 10 years uh, newer. Okay, let's see how that goes. So, uh, what I'll do, I'll load up a uh, saved game right here. Now, I've already completed the um, the story. When you first play the game, uh, there are stories, there are missions to take you through uh, uh, the story. The story is great, it, it is really well done. Um, but as I finish that, I don't need to uh, worry about that anymore. So let's take you through the various uh, features. First thing you see is that I am docked now wait for it, uh, you, you may want to brace yourself uh, you Elite Dangerous fans I am docked on a planet surface I know, I know what you are thinking and I, I can scarcely believe it myself I mean clearly it can't be done on modern PCs otherwise you know, pff, well I mean, elite, if it can't be done on Elite Dangerous at the moment without having to pay for an expansion pack then it simply can't be done but this game from, you know, 12 years ago has done it. I don't know how they did it. There must be some sort of trickery involved there. Anyway, uh, let's go through the uh, icons at the top here. So, uh, the neural leg, uh, neural leg, neural net log is uh, basically takes you through all the various uh, stories and everything else. Now I don't need to show you too much of that, I don't want to show you too much of it because it will give away a lot of spoilers. So we have the physical map, uh, this shows uh, the uh, system, the timing, which is the New York system, and I am currently on planet Manhattan. Uh, now the map can also show you okay who controls which region. This whole area is controlled by uh, Liberty Space, so that's uh, no problem. That's the uh, patrol routes, uh, mineable zones. I don't bother doing any of that. Uh, the legend, for what it's worth, and this uh, will show all of the uh, bases and all of the systems that uh, you have visited. I visit quite a few, so... If you go to the universe map, this again shows all the systems that I have visited, but on a much larger scale. This is uh, basically uh, Freelancer's equivalent of the old uh, galactic map in uh, Elite. Now, as you can see, um, uh, the galaxy is actually split into like five main sections. So we have uh, Liberty Space, where I am now, where everything is named after places in America. Uh, the next place here I went to in the story is uh, 
Britonia space, where everything is named after uh, places in the uh, British Isles. From there I went into Kusari space, where everything is named after uh, Japanese uh, locations. You very briefly go into Rhineland space, where everything is named after German um, uh, locations. Then the, or the Sirius sector, that's actually the, uh, the, the part of the galaxy you are in. Um, this green area here is the area of space that uh, is controlled by the Nomads. And, okay, I didn't want to give away any uh, spoilers, but I already have. The Nomads are the alien race that you are eventually uh, trying to stop in the uh, main story. There are also a lot of uh, what are called border worlds. Uh, obviously, they are in the uh, borders between the main um, uh, factions, with Britannia, Liberty, Rhineland, Kusari. So uh, you'll you'll know when you're in a border world because the uh, the planet or the uh, system that you go to doesn't have a name that's uh, either from uh, the USA, the British Isles, uh, Japan or Germany. So, that's the map. This is uh, the inventory. So, these are all of the weapons that I have on my ship. Uh, that is the uh, ammunition for those things that I have which have ammunition uh, these are the miscellaneous equipment which is uh, your shield and your thrusters I have the two best and then this area is for uh, nanobots and shield batteries uh, my shield is extremely strong and if I stay in uh, Liberty space the chances are they're not going to even remotely uh, dent my shields at all so I should be okay here I won't need to use shield batteries well, I certainly won't need to use nanobots they'll repair hull damage if you picked any uh, up and shield battery will obviously quickly recharge your shields and finally commodities um, Chicago uh, which I don't have any at the moment uh, here we have to play a status, so my current level is level 20, my current worth is 209,000. Now it says next level requirement is mission. Now if I was still doing the uh, campaign, that would mean I would now have to go off to a particular planet. When um, it comes up your next level requirement is mission, you'll get a message from somebody that you're meant to meet either on a planet or on a uh, docking station they'll tell you head over there once you go there you then start the mission but you don't have to go there straight away you can carry on doing these uh, other uh, minor missions and um, or trading runs or whatever and try and uh, get your uh, uh, credits uh, up uh, this current information this is all um, about the planet so they they sell three ships here the Patriot, the Star Trek or the Rhino I am in the Anubis which is vastly superior to all either of those three um, the commodities that they sell here uh, the commodities that they buy um, and any the equipment they have for sale and then general info at the bottom very much like the uh, system information in uh, Elite no, not in Elite Dangerous. So, um, these icons up here, obviously if you click on this one, it takes you to the launch pad. Click on that and you launch into space. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'll show you the ship dealer. Not every uh, planet or docking station you go to will have a ship dealer. So you click here. these are the ships that I could get, the, uh, the Rhino, the Star Tracker or the Patriot. None of them are as good as uh, the ship I have. Uh, let's uh, take you for example the Patriot. Has four gun, uh, gun mounts, no turret mounts, armour is 1300, 
cargo space is 25, its uh, max weapon class is 3, optimal weapon class is 2. The Star Tracker has less, yeah, less uh, gun turrets, uh, 3. Its armour is better, 1800. Cargo space is better. Its max weapon class is better, but it still has the optimal weapon class of 2. Now the Rhino is a freighter, so uh, its armour isn't so fantastic, although it's better than the Patriot. Cargo space is huge, but its optimal weapon class is very low, it's 1, and the max weapon class is 3. And you compare all that to my current ship, it has 6 gun mounts, 1 turret mount, its armour is 4200, Cargo space is 70, so just 10 less than that freighter. Optimal weapon class is 5, and the uh, max weapon class is 6. So, um, the reason why it's so cheap, though, is because of where I got it from. It says here, uh, it's a very heavy fighter belonging to the Order. If you play the game and you play the campaign, you'll know who the Order are. Or at least you think you do. Yeah, this is the uh, equipment dealer. But notice, look, graphical representations of the uh, various areas you're going to. First the ship dealer, and now a graphical representation of the uh, equipment dealer. You mean it's possible to actually do something more than just have writing on on a page. Bloody hell. Looks like people at uh, Elite Dangerous have missed a trick there, haven't they? Hmm. Anyway, these are all of the uh, weapons this place has available. Now, none of them are anywhere near as good as what I have. It is a bit of trial and error. Um, we're trying to find the best uh, weapons and that, that are available to you. I personally only go by hold damage per shot, shield damage per shot, and energy usage. Um, uh, these ones here, or the Death's Hand Mark II, I've got four of those, and then I've got uh, two of these uh, Reapers. Um, the Reapers do a hell of a lot more damage than the Death's Hand, but they also have much higher energy uh, usage. In fact, this ship, I do go through energy bloody fast. Uh, debilitate the turret, absolutely strip shields away, 401 shield damage per shot. Hardly does anything to uh, the hull, but uh, use this on any enemy ship, the shields are gone in the blink of an eye, and then all of this weaponry, I've got six of bloody uh, guns pounding away at the hull. They don't last very long. So it doesn't matter about the energy usage. You see here, uh, in the Justice uh, Mark 1 is the uh, weapon you start off with. Hull damage per shot 16, shield damage per shot 8. Sounds very low, but in Liberty Space that's plenty. And energy, energy usage is only 5, so you can blast away to your arts and 10. Uh, so you need to carry on to uh, ammunition. I don't need any. I'm full up with a with lot. You can have a maximum of 50. Um, I don't need to replace my uh, shield or thrusters because mine are the best. So I don't need to replace it with any of those. And if you need to uh, buy nanobots or shield, belt ba uh, shield batteries, is the place to buy them from. One tip, don't buy them at all. Uh, you tractor in uh, wreckage from ships you've destroyed something else that Elite Dangerous can't do um, every time you destroy a ship well, nearly every time they will drop something most of the time it's nanobots or shield batteries so you can pick them up for nothing so there's no point in buying any unless you're absolutely desperate so we go to the commodity trader what do we have here? we have graphical representations of you and the commodity trader and you can uh, talk to two other people who are with him they were able to do it here but how could they because obviously it can't be done now Elite Dangerous is, is not in there 
and surely the only reason it's not in there is because it can't be done unless it makes it more realistic maybe that's what it is if you were going to trade with somebody you would just look at uh, some writing on a screen within your ship you would never you know actually go to the commodity trader himself and speak to him in person <laughs> that's crazy So, uh, you click on here, now if I had anything to sell I would be able to click on them here and then choose how many to sell and to buy I just click here. Uh, the price on Boron is pretty good but not the lowest. Um, although it looks like, oh no it's not even the lowest in Liberty Space. I mean I could make a fortune if I was going to take it all the way to Southampton Shipyard but that's in New London. That's a long way from here. Uh, so it's the same old thing but you actually get to see the buying prices of all the other systems here on the page so you know what to buy and where to take it you're not taking any risks however this this only goes uh, uh, only increases it only shows you the um, buying prices of uh, systems and docking stations you visited it doesn't just show them all straight away and believe me there are a lot of uh, docking stations and planets I haven't landed on so this list could be far longer than this as it is I don't usually bother with uh, commodities at all uh, for starters I've got 128,763 credits which is a decent amount it's not enough to get me the best ship and the best equipment because even though I have completed the story there are still better ships and better equipment to have but uh, I won't find them here I need to go to Rhineland space to get those which, uh, well, they are extremely expensive. 128,763 will not get me the best ship. So, let's head to the bar. This is where you can pick up uh, information, jobs, uh, and all sorts. But look, a graphical representation of going into the bar and being able to talk to people instead of just clicking on a job board and getting messages like that. See, this is just a sub uh, section within uh, the bar itself. But it's, that's, that's just crazy because, well, it can't be done today, obviously. You know, Elite Dangerous have proven that because they haven't done it there. So it's, surely it must be that it can't be done. But yet they were able to do it 12 years ago. That doesn't make any sense. Now, let's show you something else that is, you know, clearly impossible, but uh, it looks like uh, this has somehow managed it. Pilot, need some help? Any action going on? They're talking! I don't know you. You new here? Yeah, that's right. Well, it is possible to have what you're looking for. Name? I'm Trent. I see. I work with the Liberty Police. This is our base. I might have a proposition for you. Dangerous? Don't worry about it. You'll be just fine. All of the missions in uh, Liberty Space will be ridiculously easy. I mean, saying, right, so a group of Liberty rogue ships have been spotted. I think they're in Sector 2E. Doesn't matter where they are, I'll be able to get there easy enough. A simple house clean mission, go out there, make the area safe again. In other words, destroy all the ships. Uh, we will dispatch a wing of our ships to assist you as soon as we can. Until then, you'll be solo on this one. I could be solo from start to finish, any white matter. I'll accept it. Looks good to me. Great. Be seeing you. Right, so let's head back to the uh, landing pad and let's launch. Now, ship flight is very different to uh, Elite Dangerous. And this is uh, the route, so we have to go to Baltimore Shipyard, then head to, uh, to here towards the New York Jump Gate, and then uh, we fly off to the area where they are hiding. Now, listen for something Freeland, shocking. Is one this is planet Docking ring cleared. Good luck out there. Voices in space. Ships will be at the mission waypoint. Refer to the nav map for specific instructions. Manhattan, 
Right now, if you hold down tab, you can use your booster. Notice the uh, percentage there is going down. If it reaches zero, you have to stop for the booster to recharge. The better the booster, the uh, slower it uh, drains and the faster it recharges. This um, here is your speed, so I'm currently doing 80. You simply change speed by moving the uh, mouse wheel. Uh, we've uh, selected this uh, uh, waypoint. You can select it uh, in the uh, here or by clicking on the diamond or in the middle of the diamond. Now, these are our flight modes. So free mode, which is what I'm doing now, you hold down the left mouse button and you fly around wherever you like. Hold down the right button and you fire. All the weapons that are shown in green will fire when you hold down the red, uh, the uh, right mouse button. Any that aren't, you have to press the number. So eight to launch the uh, torpedo launcher, nine drops a driller mine, ten drops an advanced uh, countermeasure. Right, uh, this icon here will enter cruise mode. Um, I don't need to do that just yet, so I'll be able to show you that later. But uh, at the moment, I don't need to. This one go to it will take you to uh, the uh, waypoint, so it's basically a um, autopilot. And this one uh, dock. You need to uh, click on this to either land on a planet dock on a docking station or, as I need to do now, enter the trade lane or a jump gate. Finally this one here is formation. If you uh, select a friendly ship, you can click on formation and, well, shotgun, you fly in formation. Something that was done when this game first came out. You didn't have to wait for a patch to come along before you could form wings. This is instead of super cruise. Your ship can't actually uh, fly faster than uh, 80 in normal flight. Uh, it's uh, 199 with the boost. But to travel long distances uh, quickly, you need to use these uh, trade lanes. You have to dock with the jump gate. And then that takes you along the uh, trade lane to the uh, next uh, either planet or uh, docking station. But yes, there's there's actually you know speech in flight. You can hear the radio uh, transmitter instead of uh, having to um, just have it come up as written text. So if that could be done, you know when this game came out, why can't it be done now in Elite Dangerous? Answer, because it's fucking lazy programming. Right, so I'll select Go To and that will engage the cruise engines. And they allow me to travel at 299, which is the fastest you can go outside of a uh, trade lane. Now if you need to, you can hold down the uh, left mouse button, move yourself around, as soon as you let go you head straight back to uh, the uh, waypoint or wherever it is that you are heading. When you're looking on the uh, map you can set your own waypoints just by uh, clicking anywhere in there and uh, away you go. You can also abort the mission but this mission is so easy I'm not going to. Combat really isn't much different to it is in uh, Elite. Enemy ships in range. We're painting them so you can ID them easily. Right, that's one down. So out here the ships are very weak. I can blow them away, no problem. Then you press B to tractor in everything they dropped, and it is as easy as that. Well done. Mission yep. commission so that's another 2,000 that I've earned. Now, I want to go to Rhineland Space. So 
Well, I want to check. New York. That's not where I, I want to go. Or is it? Um, zoom back out again. That's the Texas system. That's Alaska system. That's California, Colorado. Well, I'm in the New York uh, system now. I want to get to the Texas system, it looks like. That's taking me to Colorado. Uh, let's have a look again. Colorado. Okay, that's a, it's not a dead end, but it's completely the wrong direction. So I want to go to Texas Jump Gate. Or do I? No, I don't. I want to go to Alaska. No, I don't. Alaska's got nothing else there. I want to get the ride in the space as quickly as I can. It looks like I'll have to go to the Texas system. Right, so I need to go there. So if I set the waypoint... I've already been given my payment. Oh, fucking hell. No, don't send me the direct route. I need to go through uh, the uh, jump gates. Map. Okay, so if I go from here to Fort Bush, and from Fort Bush to Norfolk Shipyard, and then from Norfolk Shipyard to the Texas Town Gate. Oh, yep, looks like we've got some uh, enemies coming in. They won't last long. Up some more cargo. Dark. Uh, stop with the trade lane. See if we can get to Rhineland. I did tractor in some uh, some stuff, but it looks like it, none of it is. Ah, so I can sell that, sell those, and I've got those two uh, that I can also sell. But I'll sell them in uh, Rhineland. Right, let's uh, head to this. Uh, Trade lane. But uh, you know, if we drop the sarcasm for a bit, this game really does show just how sloppy Elite Dangerous has been done. This is a game that's 12 years old, and like when you uh, when you are dot. It has graphical representations of everything, not just, you know, orange writing. Um, it has a, a well done um, icon system for uh, flight. It has uh, an easy to use map. Uh, it has, you know, you can actually hear uh, you know, transmissions between ships and between your ship and either the docking station or the uh, planetary uh, docking ring. You can land on planets. Uh, and when playing it, it's fun to play because it's a lot uh, faster pace. You can change your ships, you can change your ships to all kinds. There are more ships in this game than there are... than there are in Elite Dangerous. Okay, uh, they'll be the ones regretting this. One already down. 
and so is the other. Uh, tractor failure means that there is uh, stuff which I can uh, tractor in, there you go, nanobots, but uh, I've already uh, got the uh, full uh, hold of those, so I can't tractor in anymore. But that's what I mean about, uh, you know, don't bother buying um, any uh, tractor uh, or buy any uh, nanobots or uh, shield batteries because you just tractor them in, no problem. Now, because I completed that mission, yes, I'm now at uh, level 20. I need to make another 33,391 before I can get to the next level. Right, so here we go. That is the jump gate to the Texas system. Now the dock is in use, so I'll have to enter the queue. Let's get rid of the uh, waypoint that I set. And this is the one bit in the game I can't watch. Admittedly, I don't need to take my epilepsy medication anymore, but I haven't needed to for a while, but it's only been a month since I actually stopped taking it altogether. But this is one part that I could not watch, and I still can't. And um, it may not come out very well on the video, because you move at a hell of a rate, and the shaking is extremely uh, like violent. And the first time I uh, went through a jump gate playing this, I could not believe it. I was like, holy shit, this is really fucking me up. And, uh, yeah, I was uh, not too uh, thrilled. And I still have to be careful. I have to look away when uh, I'm going through a, uh, a jump gate. Trade lanes, no problem. Jump gates, yeah, they are okay. Last one's really down. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. It's rare that you're able to tractor anything in if you are, or if you don't get the uh, the killing shot. Right. That will take me to Planet Houston. I don't think I've been in the Texas system yet. No, I haven't. So I have no idea which way to go. Dark. It looks like this is the only way I can go, so... Uh, helps. I think to get to Rhineland, I've got to go this way. Let's see what uh, happens when we uh, get there. Jump gate though. Shit. Okay, let's give it a go. This may be uh, no good to me, so I may have to hopefully I'll be able to travel there rather than have to uh, come all the way back again. Looks like it is a uh, it is a jump cake. You beauty. I think then I am going the right way. Okay, 
Okay, well, there's some more enemies, the Xenos. dead-end systems and I can carry on and uh, get to uh, Rhineland space from here and remember there was a quick way to get from Liberty to uh, Rhineland I just hope this is it alright now I can look again this is looking promising Okay, now, I'm loading a tractor in. Uh, he's not carrying anything, so. Right, where's that go? Freeport 2. I have been to Freeport 2. Looks like that's the only gate there. Well, let's hope it's the right way. Here we go. I haven't docked at Freeport 2, but I have been there. I think what I'll do is I'll dock at Freeport 2. Uh, docking doesn't take long, so... Shouldn't have anything too boring in the video. Oh. Okay, this uh, makes it a bit slow. Finish these guys off the night trouble. Run down. Plenty of salvage there. Uh, it looks like the area is clear. Alright, let's reinitialize our link with the trade lane to see what we've picked up now. 32 tons of pharmaceuticals. They can go for a decent amount. Silver does go for a decent amount. Uh, more uh, ammunition that I can sell. And more uh, equipment that I can sell. That hold damage isn't bad, but its energy usage is quite high. Check that out when I uh, when I dock. Dock. Understood. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock two. Now, the people who are going to criticise uh, the this game for its speech is will say that uh, you know it's just repeating the same things over and over again, which it does. But you saying Elite Dangerous doesn't do that? Of course it fucking does. It repeats the same thing over and over again, but this time, they're written words. They're not even spoken. Prepare. So again, <laughs> just more lazy bullshit. Right, so it cost me 500 and something to uh, repair those. Let's see, Death Hand. I only have 16 energies. He's hard damage per shot, 131. Shield, 65. Energy usage. 26. Uh, yeah, okay. It's not as good as uh, I'd hoped. Okay, I'll sell that. No point keeping it because I'm not going to use it. And uh, something else that this game has over uh, Elite Dangerous that I forgot to mention. When you get rid of this ship and trade it in for another, you can transfer all of your weapons, ammo, uh, your inventory, and your uh, nanobots and shield batteries. Transfer them all to your new ship, so you don't have to then start rearming your ship again. It's fucking bollocks that you need to do that in uh, Elite Dangerous, but uh, yeah, you do. But in this, a much older game, no you don't. Just transfer all your stuff, 
your ships ready to go. Uh, it looks like all of these prices are a bit crap compared to uh, some. I'm heading to uh, Rhineland. Frankfurt is the highest price one. It's the same here, so bikes will sell it here. Oxygen isn't worth a lot anywhere. The highest place is 50. The next highest is 13. The next highest is 25. This is 20, so bikes will sell all of those here. Pharmaceuticals, I could. Uh, bloody hell. Okay, I'll keep hold of those and I'll sell them in uh, Rhineland because their prices are a lot better. Scrap metal never goes for a huge amount. Uh, is it worth keeping? No, that's five there. 280 for silver seems very low. Yeah, it's the lowest. Um, New Berlin is a lot higher. Frankfurt's the same. Uh, Bollocks, I'll keep them. Light arms. Well, this place is quite high price for them, so no, I won't bother with them. Consumer goods. Actually, I don't even know why I'm looking because uh, I don't usually buy. I'll I just salvage. Right. I'm going to see if there are any decent paying jobs. It's unlikely because I'm still in Liberty Space, admittedly only on the very fringes of it. Okay. The like empty uh, speech bubble there means they've got nothing for me. The dollar sign means they will offer me a service that I have to pay for. It's usually to uh, improve my uh, reputation with uh, someone. You can see my reputation with uh, Liberty Roads, Outcast, Lane Hackers, Molly Zenos, Corsairs, is terrible. Junkers, Golden Chrysanthemums, Hogosha, Bunshu, Guyans, Farmers Alliance, Bounty Hunters Guild, all of these aren't too good, but they are all pirate groups. No, there's no missions here, so, okay. So let's, uh, head off. This is 3.2. You are cleared for launch. Good luck out there. taking me back to the Texas Jump Gate. I don't want to go back. Oh, don't tell me though, I can't. Oh, it looks like this is a dead end system. I can't go anywhere else. Alright, this is where we get off. Thanks for your but help. There's a route this there. This is Bounty Hunters Gold 9 9 to Freeport 2. I need to dock. Understood. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock 3. I thought I saw some other ships in the area, as I said. I did, but they're docking. Oh, here we are. People see the Hamburg. Hamburg jump gates. That is Rhineland Space. That's where I'm going. There, you just heard the, the uh, random repeating there, the same they leave, we're heading from Freeport 2 and going to Freeport 2. So it's not perfect, but at least they had a go at it, which is more than fucking uh, Frontier Development did with uh, Elite Dangerous. And that's the coming missile. It's not going to do a lot, I haven't done anything. power and not even making the slightest indentation on my shields. Even though I'm taking quite a few hits. Okay, don't know what I'm doing that. I just got 
door at this spot, I think it's the last one. Yeah. Alright. Let's get to the Hamburg system. Dock in use. Entering Q. So, next stop, Rhineland Space. Our turn. Again, I'll look away. Our turn. Watch your heels, boys. We're headed to the Hamburg system. Weapons already. Here we are. See my target. Jesus Christ. There's uh, enemies here as well. Now, the enemies in uh, Rhineland space will be a lot tougher than they were in uh, Liberty. Now, I'm running very low on power. The yellow, if you see those three uh, like dotted lines, in between where it has uh, the 100% uh, thruster and uh, 73 now in speed. The blue line represents uh, shield uh, levels. Yellow, uh, no, red, sorry, represents hull. Sorry, no, red represents hull. Yellow represents my power levels, as you can see. My power levels do go down pretty rapidly when I'm firing because I have quite a few power hungry uh, weapons to hit. They are not even scratching my shields. I didn't think that my uh, order shields were going to be this strong. Okay, this shit's in a bad old way. There you go. They have a heavy fighter, it's bound to be better than the one I've got now. In fact, if they have a light fighter, it's possible that it will be better than the one I've got now. But if I get a light fighter, in fact, if I get anything other than a heavy fighter, I will need to uh, buy my shields again. ships in the area will uh, scan your cargo hold eventually because uh, there is uh, illegal cargo out there which you can uh, trade in. There we are, landing on a planet. for uh, something I've picked up rather than uh, my own ship. My ship's fine. Yep. Protector Mark II. Repair complete. Sounds familiar, but I've not used one. It's a class 6. 
looks and sounds very much like the Reapers that I've got. 3165, yeah. Well, because uh, it's worth a lot more, I'll keep it and mount it on there. Now, I don't need that. Ammo, sell those again. As you can see, you can make plenty of money without actually doing any trading, which I'm quite happy with. You know, I've got no problem with that at all. When I trade, it's just stuff that I've salvaged from uh, ships I've destroyed. Niobium is worth a lot in uh, Planet Manhattan, which is where I started. It's not worth a huge amount here, but then again, there's only one, two, three, four, five systems where it's worth more than, than this, so oh, fuck it, it's 2,880 I didn't have, I'll take it. Uh, silver, well, it is more than I would have got, it's not brilliant. Okay, well it's not bad, it's the, the best in uh, Rhineland space. And I've got even more uh, pharmaceuticals. Well, Planet New Berlin will pay an, uh, an extra... Oh, fucking hell, my brain's not working, I can't figure it out. Uh, 33 per tonne. Which isn't bad, but, I mean, I'm still going to make 13,000 here, so fuck it, I'll have it. Diamonds look very cheap. Damn it, looks like they're cheap in all of... Uh, Um, Rhineland space, yeah, all of the uh, lowest prices, Rhineland, in fact this is the most expensive place in uh, Rhineland space for them. Okay, it won't bother with that, let's take out the ships and see what they have. Well, it looks like they've got the fighter that interests me. That one. My level is too low and I don't have enough credits. It has one less gun uh, mount but the armor's better. 6200 can met my 4200 so the armor's a lot better. Cargo space is slightly lower, I've got no problem with that. Much more uh, 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 shield batteries and nanobots. Optimal weapon class is 6 whereas mine is best but it can have in a class 8, which I think is the highest class. So even the Banshee isn't bad, and that is a light fighter. In fact, this light fighter is better than my, uh, my heavy. The armor is better. Max weapon class is 7, which is one up from mine, the same optimal class, but I will have to lose two uh, weapons, or two guns, and my turret. Well, I know where I'm staying anyway for the moment, I'll definitely be going to be staying in at around... Uh, Rhineland space. So anyway, that is Freelancer. And as you can see, in every way, and I mean every single way, it is superior to Elite Dangerous. It's a lot more fun to play. It's a lot better presented. You know, it's none of this just, you know, writing on the screen. You actually have graphical representations of the different parts of the docking station or the planet that you go to. You can actually land on planets and not having to wait fucking years and pay an extra 35 quid to be able to do that. It's there straight away. It always was there straight away. Um, 
you can actually hear the uh, pilots of other ships or you know the uh, docking um, authorities and docking stations and planets speaking to you not just text appearing on the you know in, in the corner and yet this is a game that was written 12 years ago so I, th I think this game really does illustrate just what a fucking sloppy and a half assed job Frontier Developments did with Elite Dangerous. This game, which is, you know, it, it's more of an arcade adventure type game, but uh, they've done a better job of all of the um, Elite type features than Frontier Developments did in Elite Dangerous. The only gripe I have with this game is that, uh, because of its age I think, I can't run it at uh, my monitor's native resolution. I'm playing this at, uh, I think it's 1600 by 1200. I'd love to be able to play this at uh, 2560 by 1440, but uh, at the moment I can't do it. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way of uh, sending it in the uh, INI file to do that. I've looked through the INI file and it, I think I've seen where it, where I can do it. I just haven't got around to uh, trying it yet. I may have to do that. So I will rate this game 9.5 out of 10 and I will say that if you are uh, a masochist enough that you actually like Elite Dangerous then fucking get rid of Elite Dangerous get this and you'll find a vastly superior much more enjoyable and just better game in every way this shows how good Elite Dangerous could have and should have been given that this is 12 years old and Elite Dangerous is well not even 12 months old so there you go uh, that is Freelancer um, oh and Freelancer does have a multiplayer uh, uh, mode as well but I've never played it um, so there you go uh, Freelancer 9.5 out of 10 fucking superb uh, this I think is the best PC space uh, trade exploration combat uh, game that there has ever been you know, to date so um, there you go uh, that brings this video to an end and we'll see you at the next one